In this video, I'll be discussing the difference between plain text and HTML in the context of cold email, and I'll be letting you know which one that I recommend that you use. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is George. I'm the founder of Email Chaser. Now let's get into the video. To start, let me explain what the difference is between a plain text email and an HTML email. A plain text email is an email that does not contain HTML. Examples of HTML are things like links and images. So if you're sending an email and it contains links and images, then it's not plain text. The reason why I recommend that you send your cold emails as plain text is because plain text has better deliverability to be clear, I'm not saying that just because your cold email contains a single image or a single link that is guaranteed to go to spam, obviously that's not true, but it is a factor and it could increase your chance of going to spam, so it's better that you don't take the risk. The reason why email service providers such as Gmail and Outlook prefer plain text emails is because they're less risky. They're trying to protect their users and typically emails that pose security risks such as phishing scams are gonna contain links in them and then when people click those links they're able to basically do a lot of things like steal information from the user email service providers if they see an email that doesn't contain links or images it's just generally more safe for the user there's not much that can happen that's going to negatively affect the recipient and as a result they're more likely to hit the primary inbox I recommend that you send your cold emails with Email Chaser because by default, Email Chaser sends your emails as plain text. I'm gonna show you now what that looks like in my dashboard. I'm inside my Email Chaser account and if I want to create a cold email campaign, I click the Create Campaign button. You can then name it whatever you want. Click Next, I'm gonna choose the sender email account for this test campaign. I'm gonna click Next here. I'm just gonna make this quick and choose one lead at a time. Send now. You get to this page where you're able to write your email. And when you write this email and you send it, it's gonna be plain text by default. To be clear, I'm not saying that you should never include links or images or even attachments in any of your emails. What I am saying though, is that the very first email that you send to a prospect before they've responded to you should be plain text. If a prospect has already responded to your email previously and you want to send them another email, then you can include links and attachments because since they've already responded, email service providers know that your email is most likely safe, so your email will still go to the primary inbox. On that very first email, that's the risky one. That's the one where you're more likely to spam. So in that first email, use plain text. Again, if you send your cold emails with email chaser, it'll be plain text by default, so you have to worry about that. And then you're more likely to hit the primary inbox. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this about sales and cold email, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to start sending your own cold emails, then I recommend that you sign up for a free email chaser account. I hope to see you in the next video.